What is up guys, it's Terrible here and welcome to the biggest episode in the career mode so far, we play my old team, no I'm joking, episode 257, but we do have our home game against my old team Sevilla who are way, way in front of us in terms of points, so we need a win here today to get back on track in the league, and we definitely want one over my old, old club Sevilla, Neymar, Ben Khalifa, Redmond, Coutinho, Rosazana, Di Alessandro, Luna, Corker, De Vries, Walker and Diego Alves is practically the team I built myself from the ground upwards, Chris Smalling is on the bench, Jesusa Victoria, in other words known as Vi David Villa, uh, he starts off brilliantly with a couple of scoop turns, giving the ball to Alexis Sanchez who finesses it straight into the top corner in the fourth minute and that was a wonderful, wonderful goal, totally created by David Villa, I don't know why Alexis Sanchez was given that much time at the edge of the box but he, he took almost no time at all to, uh, to just take a touch, set himself and then immediately have a shot that lashed into the top corner, it was a beautiful, beautiful goal Nana Warbeck nearly grabbed himself one against his old club, obviously whenever I play my old club I always play the players who I have had before, so um it was very important to me uh, in this game that Nana Welbeck uh, should play. I felt it was vital to be, uh, to be part of the team. Nana Welbeck should have played. Messi should have made a better connection with that header. Uh, he could have beat Diego Alves and he could have beaten well uh, had he made a better connection, like I say. But Sanchez, uh, nevertheless, was played through a few, minutes, a few moments later by Messi himself. And uh, we were causing some severe panic at the back. And they didn't really have a chance. Davide was nearly on it one more time. But uh, his finesse shot, although it was low along the ground, it just went outside of the uh, post. Coutinho met, gave it to Neymar, who had the cleanest chance on the night for Sevilla, but he could not finish it. My man, who I bought in from Santos, could not finish it, and uh, it went wide. I bring on Christian Benteke and Thiago for Lionel, Lionel Messi and Alexis Sanchez because I have four games in the space of a week uh, coming up. So it's really, really, uh, four, four games in the space of like a week and a half, maybe two weeks coming up. But it was really, really important to me to, uh, uh to la, 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 la. I can't talk for God's sake. It was really, really important to me that I kept my, my players fresh and ream. I'm joking. But we do win 1 0. And finally, uh, Xavi says that he wants to stay. So I instantly go down and offer that man a new contract because uh, we want him to have a contract. So we'll see how long it'll take him to accept this one, but hopefully he will accept. He's worth 17 million. 17 million, that is a big amount of money for my man Shabby. But anyway, Espanol versus Barcelona in the BBVA, we are away and we need to put pressure on Sevilla now that we've just beaten them, we need to get all the points that we can get so that we can catch them up and then eventually get on to Real Madrid. Remember, we still have to play Real Madrid and that's a big game coming up soon. So, uh, so yeah. Christian Gomez thought it would be funny to have a long shot. That was never really going to go in. Uh, so then Thiago thought it would be funny to unleash Benteke, who outstrengths his marker, undoubtedly, and, uh, and then performs a fake shot to get past him one more time before having a shot that goes off the keeper. And uh, eventually, the ball ends up at Iniesta, and Iniesta just uses all the skill he has to give the ball away. But then Benteke was unleashed again. And don't look at that. Don't, don't. Don't, 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 don't look at that. Anyway, end of the first half, 45th minute, Ola John on the ball, giving it out wide to Thiago. Thiago's going to find Iniesta with room in the box, who just stops it, thinks about what he's going to do, takes it away from the defender, uh, takes a touch towards the goal, and then finesses it, or rather smashes it, straight into the bottom corner. I think it might have just clipped the post on the way in, but it was a brilliant, brilliant Iniesta goal, uh, reminding us of what he still can do, even in his old age. He's uh, He reminds me of Ryan Giggs, partly because he's 49 and still playing football. But, uh, but yeah, there's that. Benteke on the ball. Another good shot. The ball falls to Jordi Alaba. Uh, Jordi Alba, sorry. And the keeper, for me, should have been making a, uh, a better um, better save there. Especially from Jordi Alba. I think he could have got the ball if he had tried. But it was nice to see my left-back score. Very, very rare. And it did get us the two-goal cushion that we needed to survive. And that was really well placed. It was actually right in the bottom corner. And uh, you, you see the keeper really didn't have time to react. It was actually a, a really good shot from my left-back. Uh, then having said that, we could have made it 3-0 moments later, Benteke on the ball, but he finessed it wide, and somehow the score only remained at 2-0. We still had a few minutes left in the second half, so it was time to make some changes, and uh, to, to, to just pile on the pressure on, um, who are we playing? Espanyol, and that's it. So, uh, so, you know, I was ready, I was happy to, um, to kind of just sit back and relax. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I didn't concede, that was the most important thing for me. So, um, so yeah. Um, that was pretty much the game. Uh, we have a home win against Sevilla and then we have a away win against Espanyol. As you can see, we do win 2-0. Uh, courtesy of Iniesta and Jordi Alba too. The, the Spanish again uh, making their presence known. But a couple of you guys have been asking for a squad report. 
so it's time for a squad report. Um, so enjoy it. Jack Bunnell is making good progress. He's 26 years old and rated 84. Um, his value is a little bit, you know, weird for me. I mean, I think personally, I think he should be one of the better valued keepers in the career mode. But uh, but yeah, whatever. Alberto Massi, who recently joined, is uh, is improving steadily. But he's 87 rated and 27 years old. 30 year old Saku is still 86 rated. That is brilliant. It says recently arrived from Real Madrid. I thought I bought one from City. If someone could let me know why it says Real Madrid, I would be very interested because it definitely said City on the uh, transfer thing. Uh, Jordi Alba there has gone up one. He's 30 years old, but uh, he is still a really good left back, so I'm happy to have him. Xavi, the regen, 24 years old and 87 rated. That is amazing. Some amazing stats on him. Uh, that is beautiful. Sergio Busquets, the, uh, the the big tanky CDM in the middle. Um, he just keeps the ball. Has really good ball control for him. That's good. And Alexis Sanchez, his pace is a little bit on the lacking side um, in terms of sprint speeds in the 80s, in the low 80s. But uh, whatever, it will do. Fabregas is actually starting to go down because he is 32 years old. Ole John is still improving even though he's 27. Uh, so kind of in the prime of his career mode. Lionel Messi stayed at 92 throughout. Um, 55.5 million is still his value for the 92 rated player. That is crazy considering he's 30. Um, David Villa. Uh, you saw his stats there. Nana Wabek, who recently arrived in City, he has really good acceleration. Um, Iniesta's obviously going down because he's 35. Um, Alex Song, who I don't use much, is also going down. Uh, it's not really that old, it's just because I don't use him too much. Uh, Thiago's 28 and uh, still improving. 86 rated, that is fantastic. Valued at 17 million. He's a very nice substitute midfielder to have. And probably a first team quality midfielder if I choose to sell him. But Benzeke, who recently came in, you saw his stats there. PK's gone down. Isaac Cuenca's rated 82 somehow. Might sell him. Sergio Roberto and Christian Otello stats there. Jack Robinson, a really good left back that I have. But I don't really use him too much, so that's it. That is a shame. Mark Barter, who's actually gone up. I'm happy to see. And then the rest of them are kind of just secondary players. <clears throat> but yeah, guys. That's that. Uh, tell me how you like the background music this, uh, this episode. Tell me if it's too loud or it's too quiet or if you don't like the song itself. And... Uh, Apart from that, I want to say thanks for watching. As you can see in the league, we are climbing. Uh, because we did lose against Sociedad last episode, we, we are still two points behind Sevilla and four points behind Real Madrid, but we have caught them up and we are again within touching distance. So hopefully we can overtake them in the coming months. We have about 12, 13 games left in the season. So it'd be really nice if we can get a win from all of them and uh, especially against Real Madrid. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like and I'll see you next episode. Bye!